welcome back to the channel. Now it has been a little while since I've made a video about this picture, but I have been working on some other projects and I'm now ready to get back to it. I have added in some more of the whiskers and there are still some more to go. And what I'm working on at the minute is now starting to add some of the detail that there is around them. Now because I've used the 9H pencil to indent each whisker into the paper, this has effectively created a point to start from or to finish at when adding the texture of the fur around them. So I've got two darts that I can use for indenting the fur, one for thicker and one for finer. And because of the area that I'm going to be working on, I'm going to use the finer one first. Once I've got some texture indented in, I can then just simply work over the top with my blunt 2B and 4B pencils and this will really start to bring the texture out. As I work away from the face, the fur gets thicker and longer. It also has a much coarser texture to it. So now I switch to the thicker of the two darts as this is much more suited to creating this type of texture. By working away from the face using a longer stroke, this will create the effect of the longer coarser fur. I can then just lightly work over the top with the blunt 2B pencil to make this longer texture stand out. For the softer fur underneath, I now want to switch back to the finer dart. Now before I use this, the first thing I want to do is to just soften the edge of the 2B pencil slightly with the kneadable eraser. Now when working between the two darts, the thing that you need to remember is that the finer one, because it is sharper, will indent the paper relatively easily, whereas the thicker one does require that bit more pressure. This is a very effective technique, but the main thing to remember is to only work in very small areas at one time. This is not a quick way of working, and the last thing that you want to do is to rush it. Now working around the whiskers does require a lot of concentration. So to break this up I'll also work on other areas of fur around the face as well as in the body. Because the body is more set back I want the texture for the fur to be more subtle and therefore it requires a shorter more densely packed stroke. Although this area is less technical it does however still require a fair amount of time to do. As the picture progresses, I now need to tidy up around the whiskers. So to do this, I now use a sharp F pencil. This is quite an intricate job, and it's not something you can just solely sit and do. This is why I integrate it into working in other parts of the picture which are less intense. This is just simply working along the edge of the whiskers, tidying them up as I go. For cleaning up any areas, I can just simply use my kneadable eraser. Alternatively, if anything requires more attention or for any more finer detail work, I can just use my electric eraser. Now there are not only white whiskers on this picture, but also black ones as well. And to do this I'm going to use the 4H pencil, and I can just simply draw through the tone that's already on the paper, and this will create the darker whiskers. So that's a bit more of the picture done, but there is still lots more to do. And if you do have any questions, then please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.